reminder of the culture of Christmas. What is the culture of Christmas? We talked about something like this last year when we're wrapping up, but it is a reminder of the culture of Christmas. When Christmas week is coming, there are so many things that we do. Why do we do what we do? That is what we want to talk about today. Why do we celebrate Christmas this way? Why do we do what we do when Christmas is coming or when Christmas is around the corner? Why do we do what we do? That is all we'll be discussing today. So before we start, let's just say a word of prayer together. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness. Thank you for another time of Bible lesson. Lord, we say we are grateful. Thank you for life of every child. Lord, we say thank you. As we want to start today's Bible lesson, speak to our hearts. That at the end of this Bible lesson, every heart will be blessed. Whether life, joining life, whether those that will watch it later, adults, the children, all of them will be blessed by you. And at the end of the day, we'll be changed from inside out. Fill me up, oh Lord, and speak through me today. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Reminder of the culture of Christmas. Our Bible reading today quickly will be taken from the book of Luke chapter 2. So open your Bible children, we'll be reading from our Bible. So I'm opening my Luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 15. So if you get there, just say, I'm there, then I'll tell you to read. Is that okay? Luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 15. I'm there. Who is there? I'm there. Yeah. Who is there? Who said I'm there first? I heard a girl's voice. I'm there. I'm there. Who is that? Who is saying I'm there? I heard the girl's voice. I am there. Okay, I am there. Please read. 10 to 15. I said I'm there. I said divine. I'm Okay, thank you. All right, I'm hearing someone say that I got there before him. All right, thank you. I know that so many of you got there. I just oh, called me. on one person. I didn't call on the person that got there first. I just called on a person. Is that okay? I called on somebody. Is that okay? So please, if I don't call you, know that I will definitely call you next time. Is that okay? All right, thank you. Luke chapter 2, verse 10 to 15 says, and the angel said unto them, this is the angel talking to the shepherd, Fear not, behold, I bring you good things of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on an earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known to us. When the host of angels left the shepherds, they said, Let's go and confirm and see what the angel of the Lord had come to tell us today. Okay, that is our Bible reading today. It was part of what we read also last week. All right, so the important items and culture of Christmas. Children, what do you think are the items you see when Christmas is coming up? What do you see when it's Christmas time? What do you see? Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Christmas Thank you. Love you. I love you all. Thank you for answering my questions with so much eager. Thank you so much. So important items are culture of Christmas. You have said it all, children. You've said it all. You've said my slide already. All right. We said Christmas tree. Santa Claus. Remember Santa Claus for the Christmas. Christmas light. Just like this. 
just like the lights just behind me okay christmas visits okay where you have to go and visit one another visit friends visit people homes different hospitals just visit, visit uh really relatives Christmas carol, where you go and you sing Christmas ah, carol. Oh, yes. say one. Christmas say star. One. Christmas star. Can you see my own star on the tree? Wow, yes. what a Chris, what's a Christmas carol? Carol is where you go okay. where okay, I'll talk about everything. It's a, is that okay? I was we go on, we'll talk about everything. Christmas gifts. Okay. Sorry. Christmas gifts. Ah. That is all that we see during Christmas. Is that not it? We see everything beautiful. We see new things around us. Everything is colorful during Christmas. Is that not it? Okay. So we said, learn why we do what we do at Christmas. Why do we do what we do? Why do we see Christmas tree during Christmas season? Why do we go for carols during Christmas season? Why do we see Christmas stars, Christmas lights? Santa Claus, Christmas gifts. Why do we go visiting uh, family because members? Because going to for uh, all celebrate the death of Jesus. Uh, people, yes, in the hospital or doing orphanage home visit. Why do we visit all of those ones? Okay, that's all we want to talk about today. So just come along with me. So people are asking me questions about what is this? What is this? That is why it's here. We'll talk about everything one after the other. Is that okay? So just sit back, just relax and get to know more about why we do what we do okay okay so we start with christmas gifts christmas gifts we said uh when the uh, wise men came they came bearing gifts was that not so who can tell me the names of the gifts that the wise men brought i said it last week Gold. Thank you, Mer. You have said the three. Thank you, gold. everybody. Yes, gold. thank you all. Gold, princess, and Mer. Did it come empty and Christmas is a season when we give gifts out of love to one another. It's a season of gifts. They didn't go to Jesus empty and They brought gifts. They came bearing gifts. It's a great time to make other people happy by giving of gifts. I remember the uh, our song, Para Pa Pam Pam, we'll play it again today. Remember the song that those uh, those men visited the hospital, did they go empty and dead? They bought gifts. They make the uh, the children happy. The children admitted uh, on admission in the hospital. They make them happy. They gave all of them gifts. Even some of them that were dying with cancer, they were happy to see them. They were happy to share in the love. They were happy. It made them. It made, brought them back alive because of the visit, because of the gift. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Matthew chapter two verse eleven says, "On coming to the house, hello. he saw the child with his mother Mary, and they fell down. These are the wise men. They worshipped him. They worshipped baby, the, the 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 child Jesus. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold." frankincense and man okay so those were the gifts they brought to jesus we we'll still talk about gifts afterwards don't worry you see john 3 chapter john chapter 3 verse 16 says for god so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have but it we started with giving gifts it is a father in heaven god God doesn't joke with giving us gifts. The one and very much important gift God gave us was his son. God, uh, Jesus was a gift to the world, a gift to save us from our sins. And also we said that when the wise men who came visiting baby G, the child Jesus, they came bearing gifts. So Christmas season, it's a period of what? Giving off gifts. Okay, we'll go ahead to talk about what can I give as a child? I don't earn money. How do I get what to give? We'll talk about that. Is that okay? Just come along with me. Do you have gifts to share this coming Christmas? Or you won't need ideas of gifts to share? Okay, we'll talk about the ideas of gifts to share also this Christmas. So we talked about uh, Christmas tree. We said it's part of what we see during Christmas, like the tree behind me, right? Okay, Christmas tree. Okay. What does it really mean? We say Christmas tree is also a what is a pine tree. There is a tree called the what a pine tree. It's a tree that is being grown. He said it represents permanence and immortality. 
pine tree, when you read about pine tree, you said they can live hundreds of years. There's even a particular type of pine tree that can live thousands of years. Yes, it can live thousands, over a thousand years. A pine tree, you see? So we said the pine tree, what is an evergreen tree? It's evergreen. It survives uh, during summertime. It survives even when there is snow because it's more common uh, in uh, other parts of the world, not just, uh, not, not really here. So it survives, it's an evergreen green tree. It survives different seasons and it still stands strong and alive and not dead. The spirit of not giving up and staying green despite tough weather condition represents the positivity that Christmas tree brings. He said the pine tree is tough. It never gives up. Eh? It stays green despite the weather. Despite the ashness and the weather, the pine tree lives long. It's evergreen. It represents the positivity of Christmas. What does it mean? It means Christmas is something, the tree represents life. The life that Jesus brought. Hmm? The longevity of life, the long life that Jesus has brought to us and given to us. You know that children, you know that because of Jesus, we have eternal life. Is that not it? That means we cannot die. I'm not talking of the physical death or death of going to hellfire. That means we have a, a home. After now, we have a place to go to, to continue enjoying our lives. Because Jesus has come to give us that life, a life that never ends, a life that cannot be cut short, a life that a life that cannot die. Yes, life. That is what God has given us, and that is what this tree represents. Now you might not see the live uh, pine tree. You know, most times most homes buy uh, uh, the made one, the artificial one. Now I put it homes. But wherever you can get the live ones, why not the tree? You can cut a, a real tree from the tree and put it in the house to decorate the house. Look, chapter 1, verse 3 says, And it will reign over the house of Jacob. His kingdom will never end. That's what the pine tree means. It means the kingdom of God will never end. The kingdom that Christ has brought will never end. It is life, eternal life. That's why we call it eternal life. It, no, it does not end. It does not end. And also the sweet scent emanating from the evergreen trees helps you relax and soothe you from everyday stress. That's what the pine tree reminds us of. So when we see, when you see the pine pine tree, you remember that the increase of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end on the throne of David and over his kingdom. That means the kingdom of God will never end. It is forever. It is evergreen. That is what this pine tree represents. It represents the life that we have in Christ, the life that Christ has brought to us. Is that okay? Is there a Christmas tree in your home? You know that even if you don't have the artificial one, there's a natural pine tree everywhere that you can just cut and place in one corner and decorate it. Yes, natural pine trees can be used as well. They all have a meaning. So when you have a visitor enter your house, I say, where do you have the tree put up? You can tell them, wow, you don't know the pine tree? It's an evergreen tree. Uh, it stays long, it lives long. Mm -hmm. and it stays and what it does not give up it has the spirit of not giving up it's tough despite the weather ash weather conditions it stays and survives all of the seasons and that is what christ has come to give us eternal life a life that does not end is that okay so when you see the christmas tree and when somebody asks you about it you know what to say about it right you know how to tell them about jesus Using the pine tree, that is the life that Jesus has come to give us. An evergreen life. A life that does not end. Okay, Christmas carol. Somebody asked me about Christmas carol. Christmas carol speaks of the joy of heaven and the pleasure of the earth as the greatest king is born. What a relief for humanity that hope is here. And what a joy that salvation is here. What is a carol? That is when children of God gather. And you know what they do? They sing Christmas songs. They sing songs that remind them about the birth of Jesus. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Those are the same songs you sing in Christmas carols. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Noel, Noel, 
That's part of the Christmas carol songs. Children of God gather, they sing hymns, they sing songs that reminds them of the birth of Jesus. That is carol. Luke chapter 12, 2 verse 13 to, uh, to 14, from where we read said, And suddenly there appeared with the angel a great multitude of the heavenly host. Remember we said the host. Many angels, they came down and they were praising God, saying glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. Glory to God in the highest and on earth towards men. Yes, glory to God, good will to men. Christ as a will is born today. Glory to God in the highest. So that the song, those are the songs we sing in carols. Praising God and reminding ourselves about the birth of Jesus, celebrating it together with other believers. That is Christmas carol. We join us of heaven to praise God for the birth of Jesus at Christmas. We only have Christmas carols during Christmas. It doesn't come any other time of the year. It comes during Christmas where we praise God where we'll enjoy, where we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Do you know any Christmas song? I've sang a uh, part of it for you, but I know that you also will know more Christmas songs, right? Do you know any Christmas songs? Wow. If you know, if you don't know, then keep going and learn, keep learning so that you can also enjoy carol this year and sing, praising God, celebrating Jesus' birth. Is that okay, children? Okay. So, now we want to talk about christmas stars can you see the star can you see the big star up there yes christmas star why do we have christmas stars during christmas why do people put christmas stars on their trees we said the wise men of the ancient asia the wise men from the east they took special interest just wise men study what they study nature and creation is that not it so they understood the time patterns and events through nature so one of such was a special star that rose when jesus was born the bible said that moment when jesus was born in the media a star came up in the clouds in the heavens and the wise men saw the star they understood from the star that a special and great king has been born such star is rarely seen you don't see such stars the wise men saw these stars they don't know we don't just see these stars when something great someone great is born. that's why we see such a star Okay, perhaps once in hundreds of years, that's when those, that kind of star comes up. So these wise men saw an opportunity of a lifetime. Said this star, it means something great has happened. Let's trace what has really happened. And that was why those wise men followed the star to the place where the child Jesus was. Matthew chapter uh, 2, verse 1b to 2 says, After Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the baby? who was born to be the king of the Jews. We saw his star in the east and we have come to worship him. It is good to start noticing every shape of stars among every Christmas decoration, gifts and car and cards. Let those stars remind you that what? The special king that was born on Christmas. Those stars, when you see the star on that tree, it reminds you that a special king was born on Christmas day. And that is a Jesus baby jesus the jesus that came that come uh, that has come to save the world because of him today we are all children of god because of the birth of jesus if he was not giving birth to he wouldn't have even grown to the extent of dying for us it started from his birth that was the greatest gift our father in heaven gave to us jesus the gift of jesus so anytime you see that star remember it reminds you that a great king was born on Christmas Day. And that is why we celebrate. That is the reason for our celebration. That is the reason for the season. It's not about the uh, rice and uh, coke and uh, whatever and the uh, gifts alone. It's about the birth of a king. A king that has come to save us. That came to this world to save us. A king that has brought life to us. That is the purpose of the stars you see during Christmas. And it's always what? Called Christmas lights. So, just like um, you can see Christmas lights uh, here. 
behind me all right as christmas at christmas we decorate our houses right and environ with beautiful and colorful lights we can have red lights uh white lights green lights and all lights give great festive ambience to our vicinity it lights up the whole place can you see it in the picture can you see how beautiful it is with the lights of the tree with the light everywhere in the house. You love what you are seeing, right? Yeah. Yes, I love it. It's an honor of joy and happiness. This is important for every Christmas season. So when you enter a place and you see a light like this, it changes your mood. Is that not it? It makes you say, wow, I love this. You don't know why you just smile at it and you appreciate what you're seeing in your environment. Why? Because light brings joy. Mm -hmm. It lightens the whole place. It makes you see, wow, there's something great about this. So light is an aura of joy and happiness. And it is very important for the Christmas uh, season. Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 14, part of where we read. It says, as the shepherd were watching their flocks, the Bible said by night, it was by night, they were seated on the ground. Then the angel of the Lord came to them. The angel of the Lord did not just come in darkness and say hello. We said as the angel of the Lord came, great light, great light shone around him. He brought light with him. And suddenly the host of heaven, angels came, host of heaven came, showed up with greater light and glory. They brought greater light than just the one angel that came. The host, many of them came with what? Much, much, much light. And what? And shouted in praise. Glory to God in the highest. The breath of Jesus brings light to the world. Eh? It lightens the dark world. It gives us hope. So when we see the light, it's joy. It's the hope that, wow, we will not end this way. There is light, light in darkness. It tells us that, no, there is light. There is light. There is joy. There is happiness at the end. We cannot continue like this. There is happiness. It's not all about darkness light has come so when you see light during the season everywhere and you see everywhere lit up remember it reminds you that jesus brought the light he's the light of the world he brought the light and because of him today we are also light of the world remember because we are children of the most high too we are children of god so we light bring light to our world we are the light of the world as been said in matthew the book of matthew we are the light of the world. Okay, so that is what the lights, Christmas lights reminds us of. Are you ready to bring Christmas color to your home this Christmas? Hmm, children, if it has been Christmas as usual, remember this year we wouldn't be Christmas as usual. Now that you know the meaning of why we do all that we do, why we have trees, why we have lights on the tree, why we have the stars, where we have those decorations, you know that everything speaks about Jesus. And it's even a way to tell everyone that comes into your house about Jesus in a different way. Not carrying your Bible, but just telling you, do you know what the Christmas tree means? It means life. It's evergreen. It never dies. That is what Jesus brought when he came. Do you know what the star means? Do you know what the light means? You tell them about Jesus through all of the decorations you have during Christmas. Okay, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. So, uh, how many of you have gone to see Santa Claus before? Okay, maybe some of you know uh, Santa Claus as Father Christmas. How many of you have seen Father Christmas before? You've gone to visit Father Christmas. Uh -huh. Anybody? 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 Am I seeing your hands? Just show me your hands. I'm trying to look at you all from here. Have you seen Santa before? Mm -hmm. So, can you tell me the day you went to uh, you went to visit Santa? What happened? Santa just said, oh, "Hello, my beautiful child. Good to have you." And when you were doing, Santa just said, "Bye bye. See you next time." Was that what Santa no, did? Was, was that what no. Santa? Yes, that's what he Santa? did. Yes. yes. So no. Santa, Santa didn't give you anything. That Santa he is gave good. us gifts. He gave you gifts. <laughs> All right. Santa will always bear gifts. Santa doesn't come empty handed. He comes bearing gifts. Is that not it? Aha. So many people call him Father Christmas. This is a symbol of a father who gives. A father that gives. You cannot see Father Christmas or Santa Claus and he comes empty handed. No, he's always with a bag of gifts, carrying his bag of gifts and dipping his hand into his bag and saying, You can have this. You can have this. Is that not this? 
the greatest father that gives is our heavenly father. Santa Claus reminds us of our father in heaven and is the greatest father that gives. He is the giver of life. He's the one that gave us life. He's the one that gave us love. He's the one that is a giver of life and love. And above all, he the, gave us the greatest gift, Jesus Christ. If our Father in heaven has not given us, has not given us Jesus Christ, we won't be celebrating Christmas yearly. No. But because God is so generous, he's so loving, he's a loving father. He gave us Jesus. And we celebrate this gift of Christmas Day. And that is what Santa Claus represents. He said, who our heavenly father is in heaven, who is generous, giving us gifts, good gifts, making us happy, making us good. When we always want to go and see Santa, is that not it? We are always happy to go and see Santa. And that is our word. It represents our father in heaven. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave, he gave, he gave his only begotten son. He gave his only son. He was the only first person that started that gave everything that was worth everything to him he gave it to us so that we can become children of god we can become sons we can become sons and daughters of god of, of god he said that whoever believes in him whoever believes in the gift he has given in the gift of jesus he said should shall not perish but have everlasting life eternal life evergreen life life that does not end life that lives on hmm? life that does not end even after this world still continues to enjoy life after death hmm? that is what god our father in heaven has given to us and james chapter 1 verse 17 says every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly light who does not change like shifting shadows he said every gift you can ever get, every good gift and perfect ones, it comes from who? God. So the eternal life you, you have comes from who? God. The life of love you have comes from who? God. The life of joy you have comes from who? God. Everything good you can think of that you have today, it comes from who? God. Knowledge. Everything perfect that you can think of about your life today comes from who? God, God is the one that gives you good and perfect gift, and it does not change. It's the same yesterday, it's the same today, it's the same forever. That means it never changes being good. It never changes it loving you, it yesterday. never changes. No, even when you do something wrong, it doesn't stop loving you. I say, get away from here, I don't love you again. Get away, you're not my child. Oh, look at this, look at No. Is always there. His love is constant. His love never changes. That's what it means. It never changes. Even when you do something wrong, he says, Come, my child. He still handles you in love. He loves you so much. Do you have a plan to visit Santa Claus this coming Christmas? Hmm. If you don't have, please start planning. Start telling daddy and mommy about it so that they can plan to rest. I, I, we, have, we, still have time. we still have a few weeks to it. You said, Who is someone is talking to me? before santa came to your house before no i didn't hear you santa claus has never came to my house before it has never come to your house before okay. it has never come to mine either okay if santa, okay it's okay if santa does not come to your house then you can go and visit santa right my leader yes you can go out you can go out to meet santa so that santa can give you gifts is that okay no so it's still a win-win right it's still a win-win all right <laughs> okay christmas visit all right let's continue this christmas visit we said christmas season is a time of reunion with family and friends it's a time where you Unite with family and friends. We share the joy of the season with other people. Our presence gives warmth and joy to others too. Just like Jesus came in person to those who are to put smile on our faces. It's a time where you visit family. It's a time where you visit friends. It's a time where you visit hospitals. Even children in the hospital, those in the hospital that they feel, oh, is this how it will be? But your visits can bring joy, happiness to them. Even children without daddies and mommies. 
children in the orphanage home he starts to visit such ones and show them love mm -hmm. so joseph also went up from the town of nazareth in galilee to judea to bethlehem the town of david because it belonged to the house and line of david all of them had to go back home even when jesus was to be born everybody it was time for them where everybody went to their various what towns they went back to their own towns so it's a time where you visit family friends and even those that are sick even those that do not have daddies and mommies you can bring joy smile show them god's love by just your visit is that okay children do you desire to let others enjoy your presence at Christ this christmas yes you can plan towards it making a visit to your family members to friends or to people in the hospital or people in the orphanage or people in prison or the juvenile uh, kids people in juvenile homes hmm? kids that are locked up somewhere you can put joy and love of the lord bring the love of the lord to them so christmas giving we said christmas is also a season where you give gifts to exchange gifts in the home you can give gifts to your uh sibling give gifts to your parents give gifts to your friends the time where you want exchange gifts a time of gifts giving of gifts it is a season where you intentionally package something you can intentionally make something to give family members to friends or to wherever you want to go to visit you plan something package something for them gifts can be bought but the best are the ones you make yourself remember children you might not even have money to buy gifts because we know you don't work you're still children you're still in school maybe some of you have been saving oh that's okay but those that don't even have at all you can draw mm -hmm. you can make drawing you can draw on cardboards uh-huh you can make pastries some of Thank you can you. make pancakes some of you can make cakes cupcakes some of you can make a uh, puff puff some of you can make Thank chicken you. yes or drinks or any Thank creative you. crafts you can do things with your hand some of you can make crafts Huh? Painting. Yes, painting. Yes, thank you, dear. Painting. Yes, some of you are good with paintings. Yes, you can give all of this as gifts during Christmas. You don't need to have money as oh, I don't have money. No, you can make use of what you have to give gifts to your loved ones. Is that okay, children? You should remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. So, what is your plan? How are you planning on giving gifts this Christmas? If you have not planned on anything. Right now, go back and start planning after your exams, please. And start planning. What do you want to give? And start cutting it out. Start packaging something for that friend of yours, for that family member of yours, for that uh, people, for children in the hospital or in the juvenile home or in orphanage home. Start doing something that you can do in your own little way. Is that okay? Giving gifts. It said, give and it will be given unto you. That's the Bible. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. A good measure, press down, shake it together and running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured back to you the bible says when you give it will be given back to you it's not that i gave somebody this said that person should give me no he said when you give god will surely ensure that you get multiple faults in god will ensure that he gives you more than what you have given out it's not the person that will give his god that will give you multiple faults of what you have given out he said it's good to what to give it's more blessed to give than to receive so what are you planning on giving this christmas how do you plan on celebrating your mother your daddy uh your brother your sister your cousin your uncle your aunt i enjoy your aha so start thinking of it now after your exams okay so what do you know how to make and give for christmas what do you know how to make Can you make pancake it's a good time to make pancakes and give your people it's a good time to make church it's a good time to make a painting it's a good time to make an art it's a good time to make whatever you know how to do to celebrate your loved ones during christmas hands are being raised i will answer questions our bible verse luke 2 chapter 10 uh, verse, uh luke chapter 2 verse 10 to 12 but the angel said to them do not be afraid i bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of bethlehem the savior has been born he is the messiah the lord this will be a sign to you you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger please i will answer questions call all questions after now so but now i want you to bow your heads as well say lord i thank you heavenly father thank you for the gifts of jesus 
Thank you for the uh, for the opportunity to celebrate this season. Christmas no, is, is coming think... close. It's close. It's close. Although we celebrate think... early on Kistro Bible Club, but it's closer than we can ever think now. We're in the middle of uh, November already. Christmas is time. Christmas is just about a month now. Father, thank you for joining me, Jesus. Thank you for reminding me about the season of love, the season of joy of laughter, the season to be. It's easy to be a blessing and the blessed. It's easy to tell others about what Jesus, God has given, what the Father in heaven has given to us, the gift of life and our life through Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I celebrate you, Jesus. If you don't even know who Jesus is, Jesus has come to save you. Jesus has come so that you will not die, so that you can enjoy eternal life. If you have not told Jesus to come into your life before now, this is the right time to say, Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I know you have come so that I can be. I receive that free gift of righteousness. Help me, Father. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord. Save me today. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Father, we thank you for a time like this. A time to talk about your love. Talk about the reason why you did what you did for us. Jesus. 